Hello everyone, welcome to Wi-Fi Learn. In this video, we can see about super mesh and super mesh problems. What do you mean by super mesh? Super mesh is a mesh when there is a current source contained between two essential meshes. A super mesh occurs when the current source is contained between two essential meshes. This current source leads to one equation that incorporates two mesh currents. That is, this I1 and I2 are incorporated by this mesh current. I1 and I2 mesh currents are incorporated by this current source. Okay. Once this equation is formed, an equation is needed that relates this two mesh currents with the current source. Okay. So, super mesh is a mesh when there is a current source exists between the two essential meshes. Okay. Now, we can see the problem how this problem has been solved by using the super mesh concept. It is very easy like a normal mesh current problems. So in this problem, the current source 5 ampere is contained between these two meshes, first mesh and second mesh. And it is common to both the meshes. The problem is given as find the current through branch AB, AB using the mesh analysis. They have asked the current through this AB, that is I3 current. It is very, very easy. First, write the, the mesh equation regarding this super mesh method. That is, the current source contains those two mesh currents, right? So, if you see this I2 current, I2 current has been increasing, right? If you see this I1 current, I1 current has been decreasing. From top to bottom, it is from bottom to top. So, it is increasing. So, I2 minus I1 is equal to 5 ampere. Take this equation as 1. Now, you can remove this source. Now, you can remove the source and we can write the equation for first and the second meshes. We can write the equation for first and second meshes. Remove the source and write the normal equations. If you remove the source, we have to write the KVL equation. Assume your current has been moving from here. If it moves through this 5 ohms, it produces a potential drop that is through i1 so phi i1 and the i2 current flows through these two amps we are removing the cur current source right so the loop will look like from 60 to 5 to 60 volt to 5 ohms 2 ohms and 6 ohms still here so second this i2 current will produce a drop in 2 ohms right i2 current so plus 2 i2 plus the 6 ohms produces a drop by using the currents of I2 as well as I3. This I2 current is flowing from top to bottom and the I3 current is flowing from bottom to top. Right? If it is flowing from bottom to top, it produces a potential rise. If it is flowing from top to bottom, it produces a potential fall. So, it is 6 of I2 minus I3. This minus I3 indicates this I3 produces a potential rise, which is equal to here, if the current is flowing here, it is producing a potential rise. So, it is plus 16 right side. Okay. This is the equation of 2. You can further calculation or further manipulation and write the equation. 5 I1 plus we will get 6 plus 2 is 8 I2 and 6 I3 is equal to 60. Take this as equation 2. Okay. Now, in loop 3, loop 3, this equation has been written removing the current source. Right removing current source. After that, we have to write this KVL equation. Next is loop 3 equation. Loop 3 equation can be written as this I3 current will be flowing from, it produces a drop of potential drop and due to this I2, it produces a potential rise. So, we will get a 6 of I3 minus I2 and this I3 produces a drop in 3 I2. 3 I2 will produce a potential drop. See here, the current will be flowing from positive and leaves the negative, which is opposite at the direction of the conventional current direction. Potential drop. It enters positive and leaves negative. So, it is potential drop here. So, it is plus 50 is equal to 0. If plus 50 goes here, we will get a minus 50. 6 I3 minus 6 I2 plus 3 I2 is equal to minus 50. We will get the equation as minus 6 I2 plus 9 I3. Sorry, it is I3, right? I have made a mistake. It is I3. 
this I3 credens will be flowing in 3 ohms and produces a drop of 3 I3. Okay, 6 I2 plus 9 I3 is equal to minus 50. It is the equation 3. Okay, now in the first equation, multiply that first equation by 5. Multiply the first equation by 5. We will get the equation as 5 I2 minus 5 I1 is equal to 25. And the second equation can be represented as it is. Second equation can be represented as 8I2 plus 5I1 minus 6I3 is equal to 60. If you do a mathematical manipulation, you will get the equation as 13. I1 is get cancelled. 13I2 minus 6I3 is equal to 85. Take this equation as 4. Multiply third equation by 13 and fourth equation by 6. So, we will get 78i2 plus 117i3 is equal to minus 650. We're multiplying this third equation by 13 and fourth equation by 6. And you will get as again 78i2 minus 36i3 is equal to 510. And if you cancel out your I3, value would be of minus 1.728 ampere. If you, and if you do this calculation, you will get the value of I3 as minus 1.728 ampere. This negative sign indicates the current direction which you have assumed is wrong. The current is not flowing in this direction. The current is actually flowing from here. This voltage source is acting as a source. The current is flowing like here. As it is flowing out of the battery. It is not flowing into the battery. Which you have assumed is wrong. The current is flowing out of the battery. This voltage source is acting as a source. Right? In current direction. The current value. In the negative sign indicates that current is leaving out of the voltage source. Okay? So, they have asked the current flowing through the branch of AB. So, the current flowing through the branch of AB is I3. The I3 value is 1.728 ampere. It is negative actually before we have assumed the current direction in clockwise. But this negative sign indicates the current is flowing in anticlockwise direction. Okay. The current is flowing in the anticlockwise direction. It is very very easy. It is similar to that of normal mesh analysis. But in super mesh it shows that there is a current source between the two initial meshes. They may be anywhere. Okay. It is very easy. By writing the first equation which is an incorporate between the both mesh currents. Your equations can be solved very easily. Okay. I hope you understood the concept of super mesh analysis. If you have any doubt please leave it in the comment section. And you all know the drill, like, share and subscribe to Wi-Fi Learn. Thanks for watching the video.